So I was speaking with a fellow partnered agent just last night and we've been doing some work behind the scenes with this gentleman as part of his entrepreneurial pursuit to mentor and guide him with his company structure and getting that right before day one. And we're having some entrepreneurial dialogue, if you can call it that. And I asked him a question that really hit home and resonated with me as it might you as a fellow industry agent. And I asked him the question of, what's been the best business decision and move that you've made for yourself in the last 12 months? And his words were, the best decision was to go into business for myself, yet not by myself. And how true is that in our industry? In an industry where we proclaim so often that you're a business within a business, Yet often the reality is, is that so many industry agents today are still going in and driving to an office that's not theirs. They're working under a brand or umbrella and license that's not theirs. They're told what their marketing and prospecting initiatives can or cannot look like. They're told how they can refer property management and not actually own the asset and build genuine wealth options outside of transactional commissions. And it's 2024 industry agents where, I don't know if you know, but there is more self-made entrepreneurial millionaires being made online today than ever before. And you only have to look to the, the wealthiest people in the world, and it might be somebody that you look up to and inspires you and admire, and you admire. Um, but you gotta ask yourself the question, does Mark Zuckerberg work for himself or somebody else? Does Jeff Bezos work for somebody else? Does Grant Cardone work for somebody else? Does Elon Musk work for somebody else or himself? Somebody I truly admire, respect, and inspires me immensely that I look up to. Glenn Sanford, our CEO and founder, multi-billionaire. Does he work for himself or somebody else? The answer is very clear. These people learned early on the power behind this message of going out, genuinely working for yourself, but not by yourself. Not proclaiming to be in an office where you're a business within a business, but if you ever move, you don't get any of your intellectual property, your data stays with that company, your sold results stay with that company. That to me is false information and you aren't genuinely a business within a business until it's you operating on your terms, under your freedom, under your own license and you take full control of what your brand, what your marketing looks like, your wealth opportunities and how you pay yourself ultimately. Anyway, that was an empowering message for me. Hopefully it resonates with you. The best thing you can do is go into business for yourself, but not by yourself industry agents.